Hey gang, Bill Melligari here and welcome back to another Tension Free Tuesday. Now, I know everybody's like hanging out, they're home. Uh, sometimes you, you're, your work is closed, you can't even work. Um, you know, you, you have all the do to go out to the grocery store, you know, with the mask on and the gloves and stuff. And it's a real drag. And a lot of you are losing a lot of money, especially if you're a musician. Uh, whether you're a weekend warrior or whether you're a full-time musician, doesn't really matter much. You're still uh, losing lots of money sitting home. Well, you don't have to. I've been working as an entrepreneur on the Internet uh, for many years. Actually, since 1998 is when I got serious and got on the Internet and started making money. And uh, in, the beginning, in the beginning, I sold a lot of physical products, uh, but physical products incur shipping. And that's a pain in the neck, you know, you got to pack it and stuff. And, you know, that's all extra labor and stuff that I really don't want to do anymore. So now, uh, over the years, I've been going toward digital products, uh, especially e-learning things, which are really hot on the Internet right now. Now, you're going to be getting hit by all kinds of emails from all kinds of guys uh, trying to sell you something, you know, how to make money at home and stuff. Of course, everybody comes out of the woodwork, all the worms come out during a time like this. And I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to supply some information that might give you some uh, ideas on how to make money for yourself in this time and any time, as long as you're using the internet. Um, like I said, um, you know, digital products are really the future. And when you're talking about business, to me, the most important thing about business is branding. If you have good branding, You'll have a business that'll grow and people will just hear that name. And, you know, what's Amazon? What was Amazon before Amazon? I don't know. It was a rainforest somewhere, right? Or something, right? But now everybody knows Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Yeah, they sell everything. You know, that's branding. Well, I did the same thing with my branding. Now, my branding came about in a strange way. Uh, my nickname that I use is Tiger Bill, right? Well, you know, when I studied with Joe Morello, uh, I was first... Uh, studying with him when I was a teenager. I was in high school still. And after he, you know, figured out that this guy's, he realized I had really fast reflexes and I was so hungry for things that everything he gave me, I just ate it up and I just did it. You know, I just played it back at him. And so he started calling me Tiger. He nicknamed a few of his students. And me, he chose the name Tiger. Okay, so I was, to tell you, honest with you, I was a little bit embarrassed by it back then because every time somebody would come in, like Jimmy Chapin would visit Joe in the studio, and, and I'd be next door, like, warming up, waiting for my lesson. He'd say, hey, Tiger, come here. I want you to play for Jimmy, you know. I was a little bit embarrassed about it, about, about it back then. But over the years, I said, you know, it's Tiger. Hmm. Because people over the years, if you notice, when I first opened here, I opened differently than I ever do. I never say, hey, gang, you know, this is Bill Maligari. I usually say, this is Tiger Bill, right? Well, what are you going to remember more? If I said, my name is Bill Maligari. Five minutes later, you'd probably remember Bill, but I doubt if you'd remember Mulligary. Now, over the years, I've been called everything from Mulligany to Mulligany to even to Mulligan. <laughs> you know, so after a while, I got a little tired of it. And I said, you know, nobody can remember this. <laughs> My name, it's not really memorable because it's four syllables, right? Okay, so I started seeing a drummer out that's called himself Zorro, Zorro the drummer. Actually, I reviewed one of his products. And I said, hmm. Zorro the drummer. I said, if this guy's got the nerve to call himself Zorro, you know, he's got the hat like Zorro did, and he's got, you know, uh, he doesn't have the sword or the mask, but, and he can't spell the name uh, properly. He had to drop off one R so Disney wouldn't sue him, right? But he calls himself Zorro the drummer. That's a memorable name. And if he's got the nerve to do that, I should have the nerve to use Tiger. But Tiger's just an animal. What is that? You know, well, Tiger. Well, my name is Bill, William, but I always... Everybody calls me Bill. So what about Tiger Bill? Let's check that out. Well, back then it was 1998, right? The internet was just brand new back then. It was still the Wild West days. Actually, TigerBill.com was still available. So I jumped on that name, and that was the beginning of my branding. I built a website. Everybody knows now that knows drumming and stuff that Tiger Bill, oh, that's a drumming website, you know, and Tiger Bill's a drummer. So here's one of my branding, another of my branding things is this. It's a shirt. I always wear this shirt. I don't wear it today. I'm not wearing it today to prove something. 
You know, who am I? You're looking at me, you know, you're, you're, this comes up on Facebook without volume on it. You don't know who, who this is. But with this, you say, oh, yeah, that's that Tiger Bill guy, right? It's a tiger, which I drew, actually. Took me, I'm not an artist, but it took me a long time to do that on uh, over software on the web, uh, bit by bit. And Tiger Bill and the, lo the, uh, the, the URL from my website, right? So you're walking toward me, you see this guy, Tiger Bill, what, what the heck is that stuff? What, what's a Tiger Bill? You know, well, you know, on the back, you read the back as I'm walking away, and there it is, it's a drum beat. Okay, so this guy's a drummer. So that's what I'm talking about, branding. Now, people over the years have asked uh, if they could buy this shirt, and I always say, well, uh, not yet, you know, but possibly someday. Well, I didn't really make it to sell, and to tell you the truth, um, but I have made some for my family. Because my family members help me when I'm doing running festivals and things, and they help me. So everybody puts a shirt on. Everybody knows, again, branded that it's a Tiger Bill event, right? So if you're interested, my point is with all this, if you're interested in making money, uh, you know, and you can make any amount of money, really, literally. You know, it sounds crazy. You can make from a few dollars on the side. You literally can make millions. You know, you're to be honest with you, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Your chances are making of making millions of dollars in drumming of any type. Drumming is practically impossible. Just take a look at the drummers out there who've made millions over the years. You know, or is there a handful even? Well, you got Ringo on top, right? Got lucky enough to fall in with the Beatles. How often does that happen, right? You got Chad Smith, uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, right? He's a millionaire. He's talks about uh, when I interviewed Chad and he's a great guy. He's a funny guy. You know, he, he doesn't make no bones about it. He said, he, he, first thing he says when I'm interviewing the guy, I said, you, you know, you know, I'm a millionaire. I said, hey, Chad, that's great for you. But he was also puffing a cigarette at the time. So I said, you know, <laughs> Chad, I said, you know, you're a millionaire. You got lots of money, but, but you keep puffing that cigarette. You're still going to go belly up <laughs> whether you have millions or not, you know, and he's, he's laughs. He's a, he's a really funny guy. He's, he's, he's a cool guy. But anyway, long story short, it's practically impossible to make millions from drumming. Now, am I trying to discourage you from being a drummer? No. But what I'm trying to do is tell you there's other avenues. You want to diversify yourself. You know, if you have other passions, any other passions, check those passions out, write them down, write some an outline on what you know about it, and try to create a course on it. What about that? You know, and you can create digital courses because I love digital courses because they're simple to make. And they might take a long time to make, but even if they take a long time, once it's done, it's done. And you put it up on a website, right? And you have a product that can sell continually. Now, the way I do it is I put it up on a site that's all, everything's automated. So I could be sitting watching Netflix and my phone give, gives a little ring to it. And I look at it and I say, oh, I just sold another one of these. I just sold another one of those. I don't have to ship it. I don't have to, all I got to do is look to make sure that the money is there and it went through, you know. So if you want to, I know during this this time where everybody's hunkered down in their home and stuff, it's a drag and nobody can make money, but you can make money online. I, trust me, I've been doing it since 1998. I have nothing to sell you from here. I'm just trying to give you some tips on what you can do, okay. So branding and business is extremely important. If you want to learn more about this business end of not even just the music system, but business period, and, and take your passion and turn your passion into something that you can make a few bucks for, uh, from. Uh, if you're interested in that, I really want you to like this post, at least like it. And if you want to put a comment, you're welcome to put a comment there too. I'll respond to everyone. Okay, so I hope that helps during this time. And I really hope that everybody stays truly safe and truly healthy. Okay, till next time, you have fun and always stay loose.